Hello everyone, and thank you for your joining in. We've got a real treat for you today, a special feature, uh, as we've got the RTSL Championship game here for you. Uh, Harib Flores as the USA, Michael Stryker the USSR. Now, RTSL does not have uh, traditional playoffs. They just have, uh, it's a regular season only, and then a playoff only if players are tied and the ties uh, can't be broken. Uh, or obviously for promotion and relegation. Uh, but this is the de facto championship game because the winner of this game uh, is guaranteed to win the whole darn thing. So um, we, uh, have, I'm thrilled to bring it to you here. Uh, this has been recorded, so no delay. Uh, feel free to uh, interact in the chat, and uh, away we go. We are watching from Harib's side today. Uh, he is the U.S. And uh, interesting hand here. Um, a lot of lot of red cards. So you'll headline Olympic Games is uh, the obvious headline here, and then a lot of red cards, which really aren't problematic unless you get purged. So if Harib eats a purge, he is in for uh, just a disastrous turn one. Uh, if he doesn't, uh, then not a lot of guilt-free ops here. But you can set up four four two. Uh, you know you can use De Gaulle to get into France, probably take it. Um, you know, you the, the, have to use uh, AI, have to give AI war, have to probably give Fidel, uh, give Nasser. So not going to accomplish a ton, but these are obviously a ton of cards. Nasser, AI war, sock govs, uh, cards that, uh, you know, you have to worry about if they're in your, the, your opponent's hand on turn one. So Harib just hoping not to get purged here. Now, Harib, I also know for a fact, prefers the 3-3-2 three, three, setup in Europe. But with this hand, D-stall... De Gaulle and Sakovs all in hand. Uh, you are certainly going to have to give De Gaulle, so I'd be very surprised to see Harib not go with the 4-4-2 here, given that he has to give De Gaulle. Um, I would, I would think, unless you're going to give Sakovs, but giving De Gaulle seems much better, obviously because it is, um, it is not a recurring event. So yes, four, four, two. Now. Obviously, folks, take any criticism of, uh, of these uh, of moves here uh, from me with a grain of salt. Harib is uh, currently rated number one in ITSR with a long gap between him and number two. And uh, he has, uh, he's been number one for quite a while. Michael Stryker uh, is also in the top 10 of ITSR, a great player in his own right. Uh, I am watching, we are watching this at regular speed, not because the game is especially short. Uh, but just because uh, I want to give the uh, viewing public an opportunity to just think about all these uh, all these moves. And so Harib thinking he's spent already a full minute thinking about his opening setup. And he does decide to go 4-4-2. Painful though that may be for Harib. And I think Olympic Games is the clear headline here. Maybe goes with it. Oh, boy. Not what Harib wanted to see. This is not going to be... Not going to be good for him. Okay, so he does win the Olympics at least. Uh, gets, picks up a couple of VPs. So now... Uh, blockade, obviously, is an automatic emptying of West Germany. Uh, D-stall, probably... Going, you can space it, or you can... Hold it and space sock govs. Nasser at least won't be hit by the purge. It's probably going to be a Nasser coup. De Gaulle is pain, quite painful to give up. Just a two op coup and a poke of West Germany. Yeah, wow. Going to just open up with a poke of West Germany. I might give De Gaulle here. Yeah, I think this is exactly what I'd do. I just put two in there. Yep. I think that's a good play from Harib. Michael decides not to go with the Iran coup, instead pushing in Europe. So De Gaulle, not, not particularly painful to give up there, essentially just a one-op. Yeah, this is not going to be a fun turn for Harib. I 
I suspect Harib will try and hold D stall. I mean, he won't try. He will hold D stall. And then space sock govs and give the rest. If he gets hit with blockade, he gets hit with blockade. That early West Germany poke is, is uh, usually a good play uh, for the USSR when they've purged turn one. Uh, but usually you see a coup of Iran first. Um, uh, but uh, Michael just going right for it. Okay, Michael now going for the coup, presumably on Iran. Yep, and he gets the roll. Rolls a six. Huge roll on the two-op coup. So Harib already starting out behind here. And Harib, no, no choice but to get presence in the Middle East using his only guilt-free three-op. In fact, his only guilt-free card, period to take Egypt. I don't know. I... Harib, I, I think at some point, is going to is going to need to Nasser coup, and he's not going to have time to fill Libya before he does that. Wow, already with the China card here. Uh, and Michael's just going to take France. Yep, this always... Uh, Harib's going to space destall. Okay. Maybe with the idea of potentially having to give sock govs later in the turn. You may need the ops. But I'm a little surprised to see Harib space destall there. Um, because Especially because he just got the China card. So if he gets blockaded this turn, obviously Harib is uh, not going to be able to discard. So he can, so he's going to hold. He could have held these stall, and then he could have held these stall again next turn uh, because he has China. So a little surprised at that, but Harib, that decision tells me Harib is saying, okay, you know what? Sakka, now that I've already lost France, Sakka's is not going to be that bad here. Italy's at four. Um. So he is going to maybe, maybe think about using sock govs to get into Libya, to get into Malaysia. We'll see. Oh, there's Birth the Turtle. I wonder if this will be a coup. And it will be to deny Milops. And we'll see. if Does he go for Panama or Egypt? Okay. Misses on the Egypt roll. But that is awkward for Harib. Because he does need to get another one in Egypt. Now he and now he also cannot Nasser coup. So that's probably what he's thinking is he wants he wants to hang on to Nasser and not have to give it. So one Lebanon makes sense there with Fidel activate CIA. Then I would expect we see AI war goes Egypt, and then you're just hoping that Striker doesn't have decal here. We will certainly see it right now if he does. And in fact, I would be very surprised if Stryker had decal because he used the two op right away to poke West Germany when decal would give him access to the empty France anyway. So I, I really doubt that Stryker has decal, but you know what? I've been surprised before. Yeah, and there's there's defectors. So, yeah, just going to take Algeria. Now with with uh, Fidel out there taking Algeria doesn't uh, CIA is already active. Okay, and no surprise here. Harib puts a second into Egypt. The war roll misses. 
So Harib does have five VPs here. He got a couple from the Olympics. He got a couple from Bert the Turtle. And he just got one from Defectors. He's going to have to give two back on Milops. Uh, he'll stomach sock Govs. And then maybe fill Libya. Maybe get into Malaysia. We'll see what he wants to do here. So spacing Desol kind of freed up Harib's hand a little bit so he could give sock gubs and hold Nasser. Nasser always annoying to give when you don't have the ops to get to Libya, which Harib most certainly did not. And there's containment. Okay, so now you definitely give up sock gubs. Overprotect France and take Europe domination makes perfect sense. And now we will see Sock Govs given up. Probably to West Germany, one UK would be my guess. Yep, to West Germany, one UK is no surprise. And Harib instead goes to Libya, one Malaysia. Okay. Uh, and here's some more garbage for Harib. Uh, I think Nazis is a pretty clear headline here, and you're going to want to get rid of Asia as soon as humanly possible. And you were really hoping Stryker does not have VR or decal, because if he has either one of those, you're probably getting dominated in Asia. Defectors is gone, so Michael can headline with an impunity here. You do have China, which enables you to fight a little bit on domination, but I think the headline here is, is Nazis. And Vietnam revolts, says Harib is getting dominated in Asia. Now, China may, may say otherwise, perhaps. Harib can take Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, uh, potentially even South Korea if he's feeling really frisky. Uh, he's also got IP war to potentially fight in Pakistan. Um, and then we may see, he's got an interesting, interesting decision coming up here from Stryker because he'll, no, he's just going to take the coup. Interesting. Okay, takes the coup of Libya. And now, okay, going to give up Thailand. I would have thought we might see Thailand there uh, and then maybe get into Pakistan as well. Not use the VR bonus because you don't want to get cooed out of Iran. Harib reaching for the China card right away. Yeah, Harib knows that if the yeah, the Middle East doesn't look good, uh, and Harib's going to get dominated there if Stryker has it. In fact, Stryker's um, decision to, to take the coup suggests there's a very good chance he does have it. I think this is fine for now. But clearly, with Asia in hand, you have to take Thailand. So the question is, and VR is in effect. There's plenty of four ops we haven't seen. So the question is, are you using five-year plan to put three into Thailand or are you using China to put three into Thailand uh, and then maybe take Indonesia and Malaysia as well? I think this is fine. The danger, obviously, is, is the striker goes Pakistan, Lao, uh, and you could lose this domination fight. If you're doing this, you've got to, oh, okay. I haven't seen Korean War. That is, 
That is risky. Three Thailand and then just take Malaysia and Indonesia is also fine. This gives you four countries to two and guarantees that you won't be dominated. Now, even if striker goes Pakistan, Lao, uh, Harib can dump Asia for minus one at worst. And like I said, if, if he's feeling really frisky, he can uh, try the war. But if you try the war and fail, you could get dominated after India is taken. Of course, Harib does want to try the war. The question is, does he want to try it before getting Asia out uh, so he doesn't have to worry about what happens if he fails? Yep, and Josiah pointing out correctly that he, you could take Thailand and South Korea with China, um, dodge Korean War, uh, win an IP war, and then get Dom yourself. So Harib is an aggressive player, but decided not to be that aggressive. Okay, there's the EU. I would expect this to be Lao for sure. And then maybe he goes Pakistan as well and says, do your worst. No, nope, just going to go ahead and go into South Korea. That makes sense too. All right, I think you just dumped the scoring here for even, given your terrible offs. Yep, that's exactly what Harib does. So still, still five VPs on the board for Harib, and he's going to get his mill ops this turn. Uh, the question now uh, turns to the Middle East and Europe, and which of those, uh, if either, does Stryker have? Because certainly Harib wants to shore up Europe um, and uh, the Middle East is just going to be bad. You probably UN blockade here. Uh, give Nasser. So UN blockade, that's a one-up. You give Nasser, that's a one-up. Truman not really going to do much right now. That's a one-up. And then you have IP war, which is an event. And you have five-year plan, which is a three-up. So uh, six ops to play uh, over the course of four action rounds here. <sighs> Not a great position to be in if you are Harib. And the board certainly doesn't look good for Harib, but he's, he's up 5 VP, so that is not nothing. Special relationship, yep. Just gonna go ahead and take domination. And uh, wow, a five-year plan event pulls Romanian abdication. That always seems to me what I pull when I whenever I event five-year plan is the U.S. in the early war. Uh, Romanian abdication, just the absolute last card. Maybe literally the last card you're looking for uh, to pull. Obviously, I, I think he was hoping for Middle East. Maybe um, maybe Marshall containment is gone, um, or uh, obviously decal. But I think we would have already seen decal. So Suez takes Iraq, and interesting goes one Turkey. Thinking about a potential domination fight later. Okay, Harib, Harib goes Angola, so thinking about trying to make that walk with D start with decal coming turn three. Yep, and there's Middle East, so Har so Stryker gets four VPs back. If you're gonna go Angola, you gotta go Zaire, and then we will see potentially the IP war. I, I think you I think you trigger it here. Because in addition to decal coming, CIA is coming as well. Yeah, Harib points out, Harib watching today, thank you, Harib, for joining, uh, that, yeah, once you put that second in Iraq, he could have waited an extra AR for Iraq to be taken before eventing five-year plan.
feeling pretty confident Stryker doesn't have CIA here because he, if he had it, he could have taken his ops first and used it to fill Thailand. Europe still unscored, but uh, gonna be a should be an easy domination for Stryker. Oh, and there is Marshall. Okay, well now now Marshall's gonna have to be used to take Greece and Turkey. Yep, Greece, Turkey, South Korea. That makes sense. Okay, so Harib happy to get Marshall, and probably also happy that yeah he's gonna have to give up a Europe domination on turn three, which sucks. But uh, he does. He uh, but Stryker had to spend six ops. Uh, taking the Mediterranean countries. Okay, uh, turn three hand, much better. He does get the scoring, which is unfortunate, but he also picks up Purge, uh, another four op, and then three threes. He w also winds up with CIA. Stryker does, unfortunately for Harib, get decal. So I wonder if we will see, uh, see a CIA headline from Harib to protect Africa Uh, or potentially Thailand. And Stryker gonna, uh, Harib gonna hope that Stryker doesn't headline decal uh, and because he's worried about defectors. So I'm not uh, not tracking cards here, um, but uh, I believe Stryker has. Let's see, what does he have? He's got, obviously got a decal. Um, I think NATO as well. Potentially NTB. De Gaulle is gone. Sotgovs we've seen. Suez is in Harib's hand. A Korean War in Stryker's hand. So Stryker, significant uh, for Milops reasons. So on this board, I definitely, 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 definitely rather be Michael. Uh, Michael's up in Europe, Michael's up in the Middle East, uh, and he is up in Asia as well. Uh, and Stryker also has decal. So Stryker definitely way ahead here. Um, but the game's certainly salvageable for, for Harib. Gets get some uh, mid-war events, get, some, uh, get into South America before Michael does. Uh, lots, of, lots of stuff that can be done, and this is a nice hand to do it with. Okay, blockade. So Harib breathing a little bit of a sigh of relief. Doesn't see decal in the headline. Okay, yeah, there's NTB. I was wrong about NATO. Uh, Korean War decal, just as we knew. And a five-year plan redraw. Going for a big Libya coup. Needs a five. And he gets the roll. Huge, huge coup there. Um, to that, That'll reshape the Middle East. Pretty sure you just dump Suez to this. You event Warsaw, get it out of the deck. Plus, keeping the two in France is valuable later, potentially for tear down this wall, realigns of France. Of course, you're going to need to take Algeria before that um, if you want them to those to even matter. Stryker, really, or excuse me, Harib really thinking about this. Maybe, maybe not realizing that he has to pick the card to discard. No, oh no, okay, he's gonna dump Warsaw. Conventional play here is to dump Suez. 
Dumping Warsaw is interesting. Leaving East Germany and Poland at four is valuable, especially, you know, get an early pope. The problem, of course, is you have to then worry about Warsaw through the whole late war. So you can't really invest too much into Europe unless it's your only, only option. Okay, going to dump Warsaw. A little bit surprised to see it. But okay. Okay, decal here, no surprise. Uh, Nigeria, probably Thailand, Angola, Zaire. Nope, just going to go Indonesia as well. Make, uh, make Harib use a, at least a three op to fix those countries. So we're going to use a four. I think, I think I might just use a three here, unless you are going to seriously try and fight this Europe domination, which I cannot imagine how he wants to do. He's down, five, he's down uh, at this point, six countries to two. I think the real question is, does he want to take West Germany back before he gives? I, I think you probably do. You probably want to take West Germany back just to save the one VP uh, and obviously you know, keep control of West Germany because you don't want to be an Italy brush away from control. Okay, so Harib with one mil op here. Striker will, Striker will certainly event Korean War uh, to pick up two mil ops, maybe two VPs on top of that as well. And then I think per perhaps you'll see Harib hold Purge. This is probably a decent hold Purge hand. Because uh, EEU can take Mexico, Mexico and Panama, uh, you need to you could uh, potentially use Suez after Europe has scored to take Libya, and then uh, obviously you got to score Europe. Yep, and that's certainly annoying. But um, again, Harib knows that Michael doesn't have the scoring. Nope, gonna flip Lao. I'm scared. Yes, he is scared about the IP war. Does not want to. He left Pakistan and India open uh, for all of turn two because he was worried about IP war. And so, yeah, going to keep doing that. Going to uh, still skirt around it. The conventional wisdom uh, among a lot of players today is you march right into Pakistan without taking Afghanistan and say, do your worst. Um, but uh, Michael taking an extra cautious, and reasonably so, given that he is he's definitely ahead in this game. Uh, and losing an IP war would really shift the balance of power in Asia dramatically. But Harib is going gonna, is gonna to put the question to him here a little bit by flipping Lao. Uh, and potentially threatening India. Uh, Harib a little bit, now a little uh, a little bit uh, short on ops. He if, he's not going to be able to hold purge now. You would think because he's got a he's got to score Europe, and he, he definitely wants to get into Libya, Mexico, Panama before the end of the turn. Okay, just one into Pakistan. My goodness. He's really nervous about that war. Okay, going to give Suez. That'll empty out France. Got to think that empties out France to stop a potential later Algeria jam. And then you take one out of the UK, one Israel as well. So this should go maybe one Burma to Libya. Oh, 
okay, yes, West Germany, of course, of course. Take West Germany back. Right, so you take West Germany back, you score Europe, and then, I don't know, I don't know what I was talking about. Of course, uh, why, uh, chat, chat, you gotta, you gotta be on top of me there. Of course, Harib will not be holding Purge, he was blockaded. So he will not be holding a card at all this turn. I'm surprised the chat is not roasting me for that. We've got nine viewers. Not one of you guys wanted to just, um, not, not one of you guys wanted to light me up for that. But um, okay, so Harib with five ops left this turn. Uh, two of those ops obviously need to take Libya. Uh, and then I would assume Harib would want to spend the remaining three in Mexico and Panama. But we will see. Harib routinely just doesn't do the normal standard things. I think you score Europe here. Yep. And then Harib. Yeah, you, you have to give Nasser. And so you got to take Libya before that. Yep. Event of Korean War, no surprise. And Michael doesn't get the roll, but he does get his two mil ops. One India, two Libya. Uh, and then I would go, uh, I think, one Mexico. Yep. And then Nasser can probably take just take Mexico. If for some reason Stryker doesn't fill Pakistan, could go into Pakistan, but Stryker clearly will fill Pakistan here. Probably see him go Pakistan, one India, at least. Yeah, Pakistan, maybe Pakistan, one India, two Saudi. Yeah, that would be my play as well. And then, uh, yeah, Mexico, maybe you get Panama Canal to uh, fill up Panama here. Okay, turn four hand. Uh, wow. So not, uh, no, no traditional power cards, but VOA is huge and CRG quite annoying as well. And plenty of ops here. So Muslims uh, with UN is nice. Uh, OPEC to easily go to space is nice. Flower power with Korean War gone is nice um you're probably going to have to uh you're definitely going to be playing that for ops so we'll see how that goes turn four flower power can often you know i can't tell you how many times i've seen turn four flower power give six or eight vps uh throughout the course of the game uh you know players player won't give up a three vp opec but a flower power that gives six vps is, is no problem but still those four ops are mighty tasty and yeah, I think I like this decision. VOA is not going to do a ton for you in the headline. I think you're better off saving it for if Stryker uh, plays Junta or some other access granting card. So uh, Harib definitely behind in this one, but not hopelessly so by any means. His worst region is already scored. Uh, he's he's clawed back to even in Africa and CRG should help him uh, maintain an advantage there. He's got plenty of ops here. Uh, and of course, he's got VOA as his ace in the hole should Stryker uh, get quick access to South America. And Lone Gunman, that will make things interesting. So that means Stryker, can, well, Stryker will coup here in the headline. and then he'll be able to fix the damage from CRG. The coup in the headline, be able to fix damage from CRG on AR1, and uh, perhaps even more crucially, he knows now that uh, Harib has VOA. So he can prep for it appropriately. Harib also not in a position at all to hold VOA. He's going to want a UN, Muslim, and Space OPEC. So Stryker may be inclined to, if Stryker has Allende, he may be inclined to try and wait Harib out uh, and get Voice out of his hand. Voice also won't, won't be used AR7 because certainly Harib will want to use Brezhnev AR7. Okay, misses on the coup. And then I expect we'll just see one Nigeria, one Algeria. Uh, 
and maybe a couple into India. So where could voice go here? Um, something that speaks to me immediately is you could potentially take one out of India and two out of Pakistan to guarantee yourself India. Somebody in the chat, speak up. What, what would you do with VOA here? Now that you have it, it seems to me that you would want to use it sooner rather than later. Generally not a card that's going to get better, especially if you can't use it on the R7. So Stryker, Stryker here needs to go to Nigeria or, or risk having it flipped on him with VOA or just with a Garden Variety 3. Needs to go to Nigeria. Needs to go one Algeria. And maybe you'll see one India as well. India just doesn't seem to be that important a country at this particular moment. Oh, okay, wow, just a two-op play. So Harib could use VOA here to flip over Nigeria, but then he is probably going to get Zaire flipped on him. And Harib decides to go ahead and take domination in Africa. You could have gone to Nigeria, one Zaire with VOA. Okay, and now this should overprotect Nigeria. Nope, just going to take India and with it, domination. And of course, shuttle gives it right back. Summit. All right, I'm a little bit confused by this, why I wouldn't just jam Nigeria and flip it. I'm a little bit confused by that. You have, in effect, two guilt-free fours. You could just flip Nigeria. I don't, I'm not sure I understand the need to set up these real lines. But Harib is a better player than me. So let's see what he's got cooking. You have two guilt-free fours. Not only two guilt-free fours, but two guilt-free fours and VOA. Uh, that could also be used to flip Nigeria. Harib does have to watch the Asia situation. It's six countries to five right now. Thanks to Shuttle, Michael doesn't have Dom. But uh, Harib is going to want to take Burma and Philippines in short order. Might even overprotect Laos and Indonesia. Because he really needs to hang on to country count. Uh, being down four battlegrounds to one. I believe U.S. Japan is also in the discard. just overprotects uh, and Michael just overprotects rather okay so he's gonna just admit that uh, Nigeria is lost and for his part Harib doesn't flip it doesn't realign just spaces now one potential okay there's one small step so striker does pick up um, two space slots does not get one VP despite what the graphic says uh, yeah and Michael uh, for his part does not want to give mill ops here does not want to allow Harib to coup. And now Michael going to space for 2BP and hit the roll. OK, 
Okay, and Harib, uh, Harib now just taking two each out of South Korea and North Korea to see if Stryker has a four op. Obviously, he has obviously has China, so can fix with China if he if he doesn't have a four. Korean War is gone. So both these countries need to be taken. Oh, and just a two op. Just a two op. Okay, and Harib takes North Korea gladly. So he does get one battleground out of his VOA play. Stryker declines to use China to take back both countries. A little surprised by that. I already mentioning the RTSL timer uh, of 45 minutes. Uh, perhaps Stryker is thinking that it is 60, because uh, yes, he has taken some considerable time. I hadn't even thought about that. Okay, and there's a five-year plan of Central America, which would have just been two points for Harib. And here's Brezhnev, which I, I can, you, can you just flip Nigeria? No, no, you can't. All right, I'm uh, gonna jam South, South Korea and with it give a shuttle aided domination. Ooh, okay, a nice hand here. Uh, Junta gets you into South America. Cultural, you could probably dump on AR1 painlessly. Southeast Asia scoring is a good scoring. Brush, good to have. Less good under flower power, but still a card you'd rather have in your hand than your opponent's. Uh, but yeah, this is, a, this is definitely a nice hand for Arib. I think Junta is a pretty obvious headline. Of course, the only downside to it is uh, you are you, you give Striker an easy fix of South Korea because you're going to lower DEFCON with it, presumably, by cooing Cuba. Uh, also, Camp David, a must event here with AI war in hand. Uh, particularly with flower power in effect. Nope, just going to go with going to go with Camp David. Okay. So it doesn't wants to use going to use Junta later. Now Harib also does not have a four up with which to take South Korea. Yeah, okay. Michael going to coup in Africa. Oh, and he rolls a one. That's a disaster. That is an absolute disaster. And Harib decides to only to not overprotect Zaire. Uh, but also to uh, to stick two option to South Korea. That's a that was a devastating one for Michael. Really, anything but a one there would have been found fine. Now Michael forced to use the China card to take back South Korea and stop Dom. No, 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 no. Yes, sorry, <laughs> because Camp David was the headline instead of Junta. Okay. Yeah, Harib has to take care of Japan because uh, U.S. Japan is in the discard. And 
Michael decides to dump Asia for one. So he decides to coup in Zaire despite having Asia scoring in hand. I wonder if that means he has Africa as well. Oh, just going to take a one-op real line. Okay, striker's hand is terrible here. Misses on the roll. I think if you're Harib, you got to spread out here. I'd rather use, I think I'd rather use CMC for this. I'm a little confused by that. I'm a little confused by brush for ops there when you could have used CMC. Maybe he's worried about missile envy stealing brush war. But flower power is in effect. This is a hand where you can easily hold brush. You can easily hold brush with this hand. Maybe you hold it to turn six and potentially even to turn seven with flower power in effect. Powerful card to get through the... Uh, to get through the um, the reshuffle. Striker's hand here, just terrible. I think, I think South Korea and either India or Pakistan is fine. Harib also needs mill ops here. Brush War would have gotten him those. But again, not but not a lot of good brush targets on the board here. Um, nothing that is that is better than a one in three shot. I had no problem with playing brush for ops, but I just would have potentially saved it. Okay. And now. Yeah, and Harib, okay, Harib buffing up Angola, which makes sense. And then we'll see probably a coup of Saharan states with Portuguese on AR7. Unless that, oh, no! Thought we might see an AR7 quagmire um, to deny Milops and potentially do some other shenanigans if Harib misses a roll. But okay. Just fills up India, gets the coup, saves the Milops points. Okay, uh, Middle East scoring, not the scoring that uh, Harib wants, but Harib gets, uh, obviously holds over Junta. He gets Allende in his hand so he can control it. He gets uh, ABM, NATO. Uh, so all three mid-war power cards go to Harib. Uh, also winds up with Salt, which uh, could potentially be an interesting event, but you don't want DEFCON going all the way to five uh, because both... West Germany and Italy are eminently realignable at the moment. So a pretty good hand here for Harib. Middle East scoring, not the one he wanted to see, though. And Harib goes into Argentina with no fear because uh, Brush is gone and ABM is in his hand. Striker here places influence. Th okay, thinking about Europe. Yeah, I think you got to just take that back. I think if Striker had the scoring. He would have dumped it there for minus five. I don't. I do not believe at this moment that Striker has South America. Striker coups to stop domination. There's ABM, which. I mean, you could have flipped Nigeria so much earlier, but okay, use ABM to flip it. That's fine, get Dom back. Now, I don't believe we've seen Kennedy. 
IP war. Harif, happy to see that gone with, uh, with flower power in effect. Use the other two to take West Germany back. Yeah, thank you. And uh, you can even just go to Chile here. Nigeria is not that big a deal at this point. If Stryker has a scoring, we'll see him. He, sh he will play it now. Yeah, he's not playing like a man who has a scoring. Alliances would have been huge for Harib. Uh, Stryker misses the roll. Now, the rest of Harib's hand sucks. So, uh, Michael, he's no doubt hoping that Michael gives him Kennedy. Nuke subs. Wow, nuke subs on uh, on AR5. But uh, no no real good targets with nuke subs, only, only Algeria. So nuke subs on AR5 says he says he's given Kennedy. And this will be a nice Kennedy for Harib, although there are three scorings around. Obviously, two with one in, in, in Harib's hand. So here's the coup. Gets the big roll. Space Willy. And I, I expect Kennedy here, but we'll see. No! Puppets. This is a position where I normally love the salt event. And I suppose you could salt, you salt for ABM and you just coup. Oh, obviously you have to score at least because there's, yeah. Well, I don't love losing the game uh, over that. Okay. So here we are, AR7. Uh, Harib gets Kennedy. Uh, grain against we will bury you. So Michael at this point with, oh, South America scoring. Score the hell out of that right away. Yep. Question now becomes, is this a Kennedy hand? Yeah, you have very few ops to play here. You gotta, yeah, I think you have to use that and you go to Angola, one South Africa. Yep, no choice there. Josiah wondering what, what could Stryker have have done in South America. Probably not much. I think, you know, maybe he redrew a five-year plan. Maybe he redrew a brush. Oh, D-stall. Okay. Just going to pull out of Egypt and go where with it? So Colombia makes sense. All right, just stop Central Dom. And go into Kenya. Wow. D-stall into Kenya, folks. Have you ever seen it? Destall into Kenya. Striker gets his mill ops. Not even Israel. Not even going to go into Israel. No. Kenya. There's central scoring. 
for zero. And for the first time since the early war, uh, VP track goes blue again. Bert the Turtle, is Michael going to get headline peak? He will not. I think you just get Kitchen off here for your two more VPs. Space Libs, Concede Allende, Hold Kennedy. Yeah, Michael needs Mill Ops. And Harib will not get headline peak either. Okay, finally does go. Yeah, and he could have could have put an influence there from Vstall. Decided not to. Okay, Harib picks up Salt, and I now I wonder if we see a North Korea realignment here. Yep, that's exactly what we see. Oh, and a miss there. Yeah, I would just dump all of these except for, uh, except for CRGs. Yep, yeah, got to get rid of IP War as well, I think. Much as you'd like to event it, uh, I would start with Flower Power in effect. Got to dump it. Yep. You're going to do try the Hassan realigns? I think you'd probably want to take a coup instead to get a VP. Okay. Nice hand here. Gets Aldrich so he doesn't have to worry about it. Sock govs and uh, Ortega, get, get, get Ortega out as well. Alliance redraw is huge. That's five VP, maybe even six. And then a green, green headline here. Michael with the reformer, it's not active, and Michael already has Europe domination, so that's not huge. Yeah, I think you just you just play that, right? Maybe yeah, maybe you just t just take that and put to repair West Germany. Okay. Wonder if Michael will ignore that and just go hard for West Germany here. I think that's what he's gonna do. No, gonna take North Korea back. All right. North Korea is an important country. Would give, uh, would give Michael back domination if he got it. You know, Willie, not an event that uh, Harib is excited to give up. Uh, but Harib doesn't really have the tempo at the moment to play Kennedy. So I think he's just going to have to stomach this hand. Oh, oh, wow! Just going to play Kennedy for ops right there. Interesting. Okay. I would have thought about maybe even China there. With gunmen gone. Aldrich in our hand. Okay. 
and now a coup. Yep, and that will send Defcon down to two. But Hariva still with three battlegrounds in Africa and is scored. All three mid-war regions are scored. Ortega is no big deal. We'll see if we see the typical five or six on Costa Rica. No, wow. Miss is there. Okay, Michael gonna uh, gonna go to space. He miss again. Man, these these players cannot have space roll to save their lives. I think you just take West Germany with this. Yeah, if you're Harib, you just cannot allow. You just can't allow Michael to flip West Germany and then be a brush war away from Europe control. No, I think Harib understands that Michael's ops are pretty limited given that they just had an ops war for North Korea. Okay, what's Che going to do? Che's going to go Guatemala for sure. And Ivory Coast is not going to move the dial. Okay, alliance for six is huge. And then you're probably going to stomach... So oh, you're going to space one of these. You're going to space Quagmire, probably. And then you could use Aldrich to get rid of Sock Govs, or you could hold Aldrich and hope you pull Middle East or Europe with it. And there's the Pope. Decal's annoying. Okay. And Harib wants a clean hand, turn nine. Uh, gives him a better shot at drawing war games. No war games, but some other good stuff in here. Cal's nice for a couple of VPs. Glasnost is active, has to be spaced. Evil Empire potentially for a, a VP as well. Five-year plan, I believe Duck is... Oh, that's right. Uh, Harry mentioned correctly, the War Games is in the discard. There's Junta, Michael trying to get into South Africa, and CRGs, oh, oh, oh. CRGs to completely just undo the damage uh, from the decal last turn. That is, uh, that's a, a bit of a funny moment. So are you finally going to try and get into South America, I would think, here, unless he wants to take a big YOLO roll on Panama. Yep, going to go Brazil, Michael misses. And now Michael's got to take South Korea back. But even after he does, Harib will be up seven countries to six in Asia. Oh, North Sea immediately. Giving up North Sea AR1 is bold. Uh, so perhaps Michael with uh, terrorism in his hand. So he's not, not all that worried about, about the 8th AR because it means he'd get China turn 10. Or, alternatively, Michael may realize that he is cooked uh, down 11 VPs. Uh, but I don't. I think that would uh, such an assertion would be premature uh, if he doesn't have Europe, if, uh, with Europe and Middle East unscored. If both of those score, uh, all of a sudden we're looking at uh, almost an even game. And Michael once again misses the space roll. <laughs> These guys just cannot space to save their lives. Ooh, Iron Lady to flip Argentina. I 
Sorry, we'll take the VP of OK. Now I'm trying to make it realignable. Evil Empire could have been an interesting event, but I think it's got to be ops here. You, you cannot lose West Germany. And there's U.S. Japan. Striker can't hold a card here because he was hit with five-year plan. There's another war card. So Brush is around, but IP war uh, as well as the other wars are all gone. Okay, Marine Barracks bombing. Takes Yugo, interesting. I wonder if he's th thinking about, he's obviously thinking about real lines. Yeah, and you gotta space this. Okay, so Harib gets headline peak turn 10 at long last. There's Middle East. So not the score he wanted, but Chernobyl and Warsaw. And uh, ABM on top of that. So he'll be able to get West Germany back. So Harib is up in battlegrounds in Central America, South America, uh, and Africa. Michael is up battlegrounds, uh, up a battleground in the Middle East, but Harib has a chance here to rectify that. Um, and then Europe obviously uh, looks bad for Harib, but he's got the opportunity if he wants to to use Chernobyl in Europe. He was not obviously going to, not obviously. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, so nuclear test ban would, is going to raise. DEFCON to five. And uh, allow realigns in Europe. So Chernobyl may be the headline here because West Germany, because you can, because Michael can realign Italy, but he can't fill it back up. It's not going to save West Germany. Yeah, I think this has to be Chernobyl for Europe, yeah. And then if I were Michael, I'd still realign. Yeah, going to go Italy first. Yeah, and hurry with no access back. Wow, second roll at plus two misses. Harib has an interesting decision here. He probably wants Taku to stop the real line again, but if he but Michael now has the option if he wants to to score Europe for presenceless Dom. Oh, huge coup. Wow. Rolls a six. So if I were Michael and I had Europe, I'd score it right here, I think. This is presenceless Dom, um, which I think is 10, right? Yeah, yeah, and Harib does not get presence, so that knocks the old VP track down to one.
big coup on Pakistan. Well, that one doesn't work nearly as well. Yeah, uh, and an interesting um, the thought there from Anton is that could have been a real line of South Korea. Five-op real line in South Korea could have been very interesting there. Michael has to refill Pakistan, and then, yeah, if you take a coup. Okay. So Arib takes the coup, wanted to, wanted to lower DEFCON, uh, so Michael fixes Pakistan, and then uh, now, then he is, uh, then he coups Africa again, so he maintains his advantage there. So a 1VP edge for Harib on the scoreboard. Central is even. Um, uh, and then, so actually even, uh, if, when you take, take China card into account, so it's all about the board here. Right now, Europe plus 10 for Michael. Um, Middle East is plus three for Harib. South America plus five for Harib. Africa plus one for Harib. So that's plus one total, even in Asia. Um, and then even in Central America. So the board is right now plus, so if the game were to end right here, it would be plus one uh, for Michael. However, that's very deceiving. Harib is going to score a domination in the Middle East. Harib has ABM, uh, and Harib certainly will take presence back in Europe for another three points. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. What a... Michael had brush war. I don't know. Oh, boy. I don't understand what Michael was thinking there. Right? Don't you, don't you realign? Well, no, no. I guess, I guess you don't. I was thinking you, you leave Italy filled, uh, and then you brush, and, and then you realign West Germany, flip it, and then brush. But obviously, under Chernobyl, Harry uh, could, just, could just break control. So that, that doesn't matter. Uh, Michael missed on the brush anyway, but wow, I'm really surprised. Um, I'm also really surprised that Harib has not taken presence back in Europe. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Anton. You brush it, but you still you still weren't getting control. Okay, desperation realigns. Okay, he gets one. Yeah, and, and a miss there. Yep. And now that stops that the four out play there stops um, Europe Dom even. Wow, what a game. So uh, a nice win for Harib. He wins the RTSL championship. Um, he had a, a bit of a humble beginning in RTSL Truman. Uh, I know he was in the Truman division last year, uh, but he got out of it in RTSL 2023A, and now he is the champion of RTSL 2023B. So congratulations to Harib. Uh, truly a, a great player. Um, and uh, uh, all the congratulations to him. I'm just hoping I can stay in the Stalin division for next season, uh, but I need some, some other games to go my way, or I need to win in the playoff against either Zimowit or against Youngbae. Uh, rooting for Stryker to beat Youngbae. Uh, that, that's one of the things I need, Stryker. Uh, and I need, need him to win, and then I need David Chu to upset Zimowit as well. So, uh, I'm hoping I can stay around to compete with Harib next season. 
But uh, until next time, that was a fun game uh, and uh, a good lesson that uh, the games games are just not um, games are not decided on turn one. Uh, Harib's hand turn one was okay, not great. As a purge hand, it was horrible. Um, but things uh, things went went all the way to final, and Harib was able to win that one uh, pretty easily. So um, I don't know. Uh, you know, 14 VPs in final. Obviously, you know, the Euro control situation could have been dicey uh, without Chernobyl. But, uh, you know, it was definitely a fun one and uh, a fun one to stream. So thank you for providing the game, Harib. Uh, time for me to go back to work. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great rest of your day. That was fun. But now it's done. So long, everybody.